A very good morning. Thank you so much for keeping it dialed in your live with Expresso. It's a feel-good morning. Why? Because the man himself, Mr. Stuart Taylor, is here. Lovers of comedy, listen up. Grassy Park-born Stuart Taylor has put together his latest stage offering titled Funny You Should Say That. And the show will be on tonight at the Cape Town Comedy Club. So if you want to get out and have an absolute Last, laugh until your sides are hurting, but don't know where to go. Well, doors will be opening at 6 p.m. and just 130 bucks will get you through the door. That's right. Um, and <laughs> and you want to get through that door, Stuart? You do. You um, do. I love you, dude. You Thank know, you, man. No, but can I tell you why? Because you are just funny on demand. Thank you. Um, which is great, but you're just such a, a lovely guy to be around. And man. come, let's be honest. Can we can we share the two the two our true connection? What not many people know is that all the abs you see over here on Expresso is, in fact, as a result of these guys watching my shows. But that's exactly They it, come yeah. often, and then, you know, that's what gives you the six-pack. So. Thank you, man. You don't have to flatter you. We'll get you everywhere, but you don't have to flatter <laughs> me, man. Um, dude, you've, you've put together some amazing productions. This is your first solo production um, since Finding Keepers. How yes. much fun is it before you get onto stage, where I know that's your sweet spot, your real yeah, house, yeah. but how much fun is it actually building the material and creating a show like this? You know what is cool? With this show, I got to work with uh, Rob Van Feeden, and I've never worked with Rob Van Feeden before. I'm a big fan of what he does. I mean, he's just a crazy, zany comic. And I, it's completely different to what I do on stage. You know what I mean? Rob is very physical. physical. Yeah. Exactly. And that's not my shtick, but I thought it would be very really interesting to, to kind of work with someone who's got a similar, similar politics, and just kind of, and he's also got the, that theatrical. He's uh, a good director. Exactly. So with Rob, it was a very interesting thing because we went, listen, what is the? It's it's like scales. You go. I'm glad I wanna, you said uh, scales <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something. I want to say these things. But then Rob goes, cool, cool, cool. This is sounding like a nice TED talk. Now can we have some more jokes, please? <laughs> so he just kind of, because I kind of have this tendency to go, okay, cool, and this is what I'm trying to say. And he, uh, he was great is in terms this, of going, okay, it's a little bit too heavy now, you're going to bring it this way, just add some more jokes. But maybe this is a result of you getting serious because you're having a midlife crisis. I, or are you having a midlife crisis? I think, I think all, all, most comics do, eh? The best ones do. <laughs> a constant crisis, exactly, let's say. Exactly, exactly. So what does that mean to you? What, what, is this, what new material has emerged during this interesting phase of life? Listen, I think I just have a, I think... It's, it's not exactly like I found my voice. I think I just lost my tolerance for not saying what I'm thinking. But that, that is interesting about the show. While I want to say exactly what I'm thinking, the conversation right now is what can you say, what can't you say, what you're allowed to say, what other people, what some people who shouldn't say anything do say, what they mustn't say. That's kind of the space we live in right now. So as a comedian, how much do you censor yourself? Do you censor yourself at all? That's, that's kind of the topics we deal with on so, stage. So is there a line? What is the line for you? Is it a personal thing? Is it a political thing? What, where's it's, the sacred cow? Um, you, you know what? It's... I, I don't know that there's an exact line. I mean, I really... The, and that's what the show, the show really tackles. I kind of run straight for the line and step over the line <laughs> in the first two minutes of the show and then kind of spend the whole show kind of going... Am I allowed to say this? Can I say this? Who Can't stood up and that? left? Who's crying? Yeah. Exactly. So, so, so that's very much what it deals with. I don't think that there's an actual line. I think it's, it's, what, it's, it's just sensitivity. It's thinking before you speak. That's what it is. And understand that comics literally have a lot of freedom that most people, the man on the street, doesn't necessarily have. That we don't have on a breakfast TV exactly. show, I'll tell you that much. So, so we love uh, the fact that you, yes. you, you dress yourself up here. But look at that smile. How can you not go and see come that on, man live? Funny, on. you should say that. You can see him tonight at the Cape Town Comedy Club. You can indeed. Absolutely love you, my man. And break a leg Thank tonight, you. Thank man. you very much. He is a, a hugely funny man, so just go and savour a great night out. Like we said, if you're looking for something to be, uh, I'm sure, or something to, to build that, that six-pack, then be sure to catch him tonight at the Cape Town Comedy Club at the waterfront doors opening 6 p.m. Tickets are only going to cost you 150 rand. Get out there and go and support some brilliant local talent.